For those who have issues with sight, some PDFs are not sufficient for their use. Scanning a book, for instance, quite often yields a PDF that is simply a collection of images. Text readers can't decipher the actual text from images. Instead, the file must be processed using an Optical Character Reader, or OCR, program. Luckily, SUNY Plattsburgh has a contract with Adobe, and the help desk staff can walk you through the process to install Adobe Acrobat. You can easily tell whether or not your PDF is already converted from text by pointing your cursor at the text on the page. If it turns to an eye bar, it can read the text. If not, it is an image. Once you have Acrobat Pro installed, the process to add a text layer to your PDF is fairly straightforward if you follow the following steps. The first step to converting your PDF document to a Word document is to download it as a PDF. So here I am downloading this document as a PDF and you will notice at the bottom of my screen it has an Adobe Acrobat symbol. From there, you're going to want to open Adobe Acrobat. Go to File, Open, and choose your document. The box that pops up lets you know how the document will be read. Then you are going to want to hit the blue button that also says Recognize Text. You will see Adobe Acrobat will convert it, and now when you go to click around the document, you can type. After running the OCR process, you have a PDF that is text-based. Understand that while the file is now readable by text readers, it is not necessarily accessible. Please see the video on making PDF files accessible. But some students may need a Word document rather than a PDF. Here's how Acrobat can accomplish that. There doesn't look like there are any mistakes in the document, but we're going to want to convert it to a Word document. So go to Export, Microsoft Word, and Word document. I hit save, and then Adobe Acrobat converts and exports the PDF document to a Word document, and will open up Word for you. I like to have the original document up on one side and the Microsoft Word document on the other side so I can cross compare to make sure everything is spelled correctly. When you have these hanging letters, most of them can be deleted. You are going to want to do that. It makes the document more accessible. Once you go through and fix the full document, you will be able to save it as a Word file. The second example is this single column document that looks like it was typed. You are going to want to do the same process as recognizing text and then converting it to your Word file. While converting it to a Word document, a lot of things were changed. For example, the S was picked up as a dollar sign. So we want to make sure that we change that. And then you were able to save the document. But even though you have followed the video to make your PDF accessible, it is a good idea to follow the instructions for ensuring that your final Word document is also accessible. For questions and assistance, please email Dr. John Locke, SUNY Plattsburgh's Electronic and Information Technology Accessibility Office and Coordinator of Technology Enhanced Learning at jlock004 at plattsburgh.edu. Hey.